Greetings all, it's Max, and we're back, and we're doing a really quick video here, uh, of course, about the gift who keeps on giving. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what apparently happened here is uh, Brian, in all of his wisdom with his video that he still has up on his Patreon, but took off of YouTube, you know, because this is only for his cult members. Not for anybody else. Apparently, Brian sent out a, a, a bunch of harassment things to different people and got himself banned. And got himself, well, not banned completely, but a check mark. He got, he got the strike from YouTube. So Brian can only do 15-minute videos now. But Brian's in the right, okay? Right? Brian is in the right, attacking all of these people. And what's funny is, I don't believe that anybody ever went after Brian to try and give him a check mark for um, hate speech or copyright violation or whatever they want to do. Brian went after other people, and he got himself a check mark. Because they looked at him and what he was saying in his videos. And I can't see comments. For some reason, my wife can. She's not a Patreon either, but she can see all the, the posts. And Brian says, yeah, well, I have a check mark and I'm fighting it. And uh, I can only post 15 minute videos now. After this video right here, which was taken down by YouTube, that that's what he said. Joshua Anaya, don't worry, Brother Brian. The Lord will stop him and his followers like he did with Martin Richling. And repayeth them that hate him to destroy their face. To destroy them, he will not slack to him that hateth him. He will repay them in his face, Deuteronomy 7.10. Dude, do you not see that's exactly what is going on right now with Brian? Okay. Ed Feniger. I'm going to use the soft G, Ed, if you're listening. I'm trying to do that, but I forget sometimes. <laughs> is, <laughs> is not the one who is getting copyright strikes, uh, hate speech strikes, and all this stuff. It's Brian Denlinger who is getting that. Okay? It's Brian Denlinger. Your Messiah. You Patreons out there. That's your Messiah. Helena Laura. They're a pack of wolves and apostates. Really? Really? Scripture, verse, something. Maybe even with some Jesuits infiltrated. Oh, no. The Jesuits. You see, this cult mentality... Um, if you don't agree with Brian, you're mentally handicapped or you're a Jesuit. Okay? Do you see? Do you see this? All right. So it's not so surprising that Google took their side. So Brian is the one making the claim and threatening legal action against a brother in Christ and Google looked at it and said, nope, you're off. You're off the internet. We don't want you here anymore. They did not take Brian's side. But that's because Brian is holy and righteous. And because he's a, a faithful Christian, we're going to get persecution. Oh, shit. That's ridiculous. It's because Brian was off the rails. And he's been off the rails for a long time. But don't lose the temper, because that's exactly what they want. So they'll find any excuse to close the channel. I pray the Lord will deal with this and protect you and your ministry. I think the Lord is not protecting your ministry. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't have gotten the old check mark that says you can't upload to YouTube anymore. And being that you're 
basis is King James Video Ministries. YouTube is all you have. And even though you don't work, you can't figure out how to go up to Vimeo and you can't figure out how to go up to all these other places. Um, and you were on Sermon Audio for a little bit, but guess what? Um, Brian, you said that somebody else was doing that for you. You don't have time to do anything. Get off the internet. Just get off. I am so glad that you're reduced to 15 minutes. So it's going to make my life so much easier. When I see your videos, I can, you know, only spend 15 minutes as opposed to an hour and a half or something looking at your garbage. I appreciate that. Thank you, Google, for shutting this man down. Thank you. And for anyone who's wondering what in the heck I am talking about, um, it's Brian Denlinger sues the body of Christ video that I did a day ago, two day, two days ago, something like that. All right, where you can witness why Brian has been canceled from YouTube, but he'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back in a couple of months. You know, and I pray uh, that Brian gets his stuff together and his family is all right and all that stuff. But you can't go out on the internet speaking heresies and not expect that you're going to get some backlash. And... The heresy was so bad that even Google decided that you're a nutcase and you need to not be on the internet. So, with that, I'm looking forward to his 15-minute videos now. Because uh, he messed with the wrong people and... Uh, He's a recluse who doesn't understand the world at all because he hasn't had a job in 10 years. He just doesn't understand. Maybe now he'll get some in, in personal inflection, reflection, something. He'll get something where he'll understand how the world works and spirituality works and he might come to the conclusion that he's not 100% correct on every single thing that he says. Maybe he'll stop calling people lost all the time or mentally challenged. Maybe he'll do that. Do I think he will? No. I am hoping and praying that he will. In the meantime, he's going to have a couple of months to sit and think. Because he doesn't have no income no more. He can't do any studies. He can't do any preaching. <laughs> With that, we're out of here.